Welcome back. In a world that's so divided by differences, our next guest makes it a point to promote a message of inclusion. And one of the ways she does that is through her kids' book, Meet Clarabelle Blue. Here to tell us more is author and founder of Rocket Chair Productions, Adiba Nelson. Adiba, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure to have you here, and it's such an important message that you're promoting with this book. So I have to ask you, what prompted you to write Meet Clarabelle Blue? So I have a daughter, and she has cerebral palsy. And when I was looking for children's books that we could read together, as you know, all moms do, we take a Saturday, go to Barnes and Nobles, mm -hmm. um, I couldn't find any children's books that had a character with special needs. Um, and there were some, but the character kind of took a back seat mm -hmm. to their disability. And that was bothersome to me because my kid is definitely more than her disability. Absolutely. She's got personality, spunk, probably too much sass. <laughs> um, and I wanted to see that in a character. I mean, what, what child doesn't want to see themselves in the world they live in? Right. And I just, I couldn't find anything. So I wrote it. Well, that's, I mean, that's success, right? It's finding something that's not out there, finding a need for something, a message, and, and actually acting on it. And that's exactly. Clarabelle Blue. And so I have to ask, is Clarabelle based on a character or, or, or on a person, or is it just a character that you made up? She's based loosely on my daughter. Mm -hmm. um, there are definitely some scenes in the book that um, my daughter has done where she's putting, you know, underwear on her head, trying to help me sort laundry. Mm -hmm some things I've done that are in the book, but it's loosely based on my daughter, but really it's based on all kids because all kids like to play. All kids want to play, it's mm -hmm. the joy of childhood. And um, whether you have a disability or not, you're still a child, you right. still have the same desires as all kids. Right, and would you say that along those lines, this book is really for anybody? It is absolutely for anyone. It's for the grandmas, the grandpas, moms, kids, aunts, uncles, teachers, counselors, doctors. Anyone, whether you have a disability or you do not have a disability, I think we can all benefit from the message of inclusion mm -hmm. and how we can all change the world if we just all include each other and find ways to be inclusive. Well, and there's that word, and I use it at the top, and you're using it now, and it really, it's a strong word, first of all, to be inclusive, but what, how would you really define it, uh, to be inclusive? The definition of inclusive, inclusion mm -hmm. and to be inclusive is to literally include Everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a seat at the table. So you find a way. If the table has six chairs, you bring in a seventh chair. You bring in a stool. You bring in a bench. It's a way to have everyone have a seat at the table and a voice in the world. Um, so you can have inclusive playgrounds. You can have inclusive water parks. We actually just were in San Diego and we posted a video on our Clarabelle Blue, excuse me, mm -hmm. <coughs> social media on our Facebook page. Yeah where we showed children actually playing inclusively in the water park with my daughter. Um, they were having a blast, but there's so many different ways if you just kind of really sit down and think about it and then think outside the box. Right, that's think outside yourself too. That's exactly. a, a beautiful way to put it. And along uh, the, that message of, inclu of including people and inclusion, you're gonna have a reading that's called an inclusive reading. I am. What does that mean? So I'm very excited about this. We've partnered with the Pima County Public Library System and we are doing a reading at El Rio Library on Wednesday, August 2nd at 10.30 a.m. and I will have a special guest. I will have an American Sign Language interpreter with me who is also a child wow. for children who are hard of hearing or deaf. So while reading the book, you can also um, see it performed in sign language. And then we'll also be doing an activity that kind of talks about how to make the world more accessible for all kids. What an experience that would be for a kid, you know, just, uh, I can just imagine them thinking down the line of their life, you know, I went to this event, I got to see it, you know, sort of uh, interpreted in front of me by this person who knows ASL, who's my same age. Right. I love the idea of exactly. that. Thank you. And so I have to ask too, is this book in any of the schools here in Tucson? It is in a few schools that I know of, and mm -hmm. it might be in schools that I don't know of. Um, it is in Sunrise Drive Elementary, where my daughter attends. Mm -hmm. It is in an elementary school in Vail. Um, there are numerous preschools that have it here in Tucson. And then it might be in other schools that I don't know about, where maybe a teacher heard about the mm -hmm. book and ordered it off of Amazon for their classroom. 
Very good. Well, I think every school should have that. I think it really spreads and promotes a message that is really going to be good for kids and, and, and dealing with other kids and dealing forward in their life. It really, it's, it's very special. So Adiba, I want to thank you so much for joining us and giving us a peek into Clarabelle's world. Well, thank you so much for having me. Of course. Now, the inclusive reading of Meet Clarabelle Blue with Adiba is this Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. at El Rio Library on Speedway Boulevard. To purchase or learn more, please visit ClarabelleBlue.com.